Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So it is Saturday, so tomorrow is Easter Sunday. Um, I was going to say I'm really excited but I've already eaten my Easter egg. So I'm not, I don't know why I've eaten it already. I can't stop eating chocolate honestly, like this isolation is making me eat so much chocolate. Not even like bad food, just chocolate. But anyway. Um, so this morning we went for a walk after going for a run yesterday. I really wanted to try and run this morning, but um, I think it was a little bit ambitious. My body is really sore from running uh, and I quite frequently get it when I don't run very often. I get really, really sore body. So yeah, that's embarrassing. <laughs> Tragic. Um, but yeah, that's one thing I really want to improve on is my running at the moment. Um, so yeah, we're just about to have a barbecue. Um, and then I want to go through some of the meals and I want to go through some healthy alternatives um, to foods that you eat or, or we all eat quite frequently um, just to help you guys along if you feel like you need to kind of change a couple of things up within your diet because everyone needs to amend things now and then. Um, I want to try and get a couple's Q&A. Um, but I don't know if I'm going to get enough questions because I've left it quite last minute. But yeah, so we'll see how we get on. See you soon. On to the barbecue. Yum. Barbecue chicken. Salad. Homemade coleslaw on my fave. Boiled potatoes. Mm -mm -mm. The amount of coleslaw here is very naughty. But it is Easter weekend. I hit 10k followers today on Insta. So I'm feeling, I'm so sorry about my nails, how vile is that? Um, so I'm feeling good, so I'm going to treat my fail. Hello guys! So I managed, as I said, to get Matt to do our couples Q&A. He's very, very reluctantly uh, got out of bed to do this. You excited? Yeah, excited. Um, so we've got quite a lot of questions, but we can't go through all of them, so we'll just pick a couple of questions. First question, you choose the first one. How do you deal with Matt's annoyingness? Um, I don't know, I feel like I've just kind of got used to it. Um, the thing with Matt is he's like Marmite, so you either love him or you hate him. And I have definitely hated him in the past. But I have definitely loved him at the same time, so um, I don't know, you just kind of get used to it. He's not as annoying when you're with him all the time, which I know sounds a bit weird, but he's actually not as annoying. Really. But that, that was asked more than once, so that just showed that he is annoying. <laughs> That's your dinner. <laughs> My um, who takes longer to get ready? Her, 100% <laughs> her. Takes me about 20 minutes to get ready. So, which I think is quite long actually for a guy. Is it? No, it ain't. Like, I obviously take, yeah, I take ages, and I'm also really bad with time scale, aren't I? Oh my god, <laughs> so bad. So, at like, time. I'll, I'll say, yeah, I'll be ready in 10 minutes, but like to me, it's 10 minutes, but actually, it's like 30. Or if we're going somewhere, like, I'm not very good, am I? Like, oh, there's only 20 minutes left and there's actually an hour. How do you live together and keep a separate identity? Easy, she's nice and like a genuine person. And then I'm an annoying little man. Um, I don't know, I think that, I think it's, it is quite hard, especially when we're both in the same industry. Um, but I don't know, I think we're, we're independent enough as, as separate people. I think... I think you're right that we're very like, different. We don't, we don't tend to argue seriously like ever. So... It's, it's a difficult one because I don't feel like ever she's climbing down my throat or like we're getting on top of each other. So... I don't know. That's the answer to that one. Um, who's the better cook? <laughs> I think me. Do you think me? Yeah. yeah. Wow, it's Actually, that... no, I think I just cook yeah. more often. Yeah, I just don't cook. Day, every meal. I just don't cook. Just yeah, you rarely cook. She can never be The honest. worst thing is when you come home from work, bear in mind we both work at gyms and we both finish late, and he's like, oh, I've had such a long day. 
And I'm like, yeah, so have I. I've done exactly the same day as you. That's the worst bit. But anyway, it, the question wasn't that, sorry. Going off on a rant. Who's the best? Who wears the trousers in the relationship? Do you think I do? I think that Hebe makes out that I do. And in reality, she emotionally manipulates me into doing whatever she wants. That makes me sound like a really horrible person. It's not right. It's it's not like you're queasy. Um, yeah, she just, you know, she's one of them girls that's like... One of them girls? It's like, can I go out with my friends? And she's like, yeah. Yeah, don't mean yeah. Yeah, yeah don't mean yeah. Yeah means doghouse. I'm a permanent resident. Um, I don't know. I think there's parts that Matt would wear the trousers, but I do think I do. <laughs> Right. Cheyenne, who would you say is sexier? Well, I wouldn't really say that, I wouldn't go, yeah, I'm sexy. I'd say that I'd probably be sexy. What? what? <laughs> Sounds. <laughs> One nil. Two nil. Me. What are you doing when you're getting on each other's tips? So, as I said, like we do get on each other's nerves, and we are like I'm, I'm probably the most, one of the most irritating people on the planet. Um, so I'm a wind-up merchant, and when I get bored, like that, that becomes even more apparent. I just wind people up for my own entertainment, not in a horrible way. Just I do wind people up. Healy's not really like that. So if it's anything, it's just I'm getting on her tits, and I'm being annoying. So um, we don't do much. Except that I go back to my dog house. Where do you see yourself in five years? Um, hopefully with a house. I'm not really sure in five years if I can see kids. I don't think I really want that yet. How do we? 28. Oh, I don't know. Just feel like five years feels so, so soon. I want to have progress in my business. Um, I want to, I want to learn um, like more to do with my work. There's lots of things that, well you can learn every day, can't you? You need to, you always want to be updating your skills. That's one thing I want to do. What about you? Where do you see yourself in five years? Having a mental breakdown and moving to a <laughs> Okay, seriously. Having a mental breakdown and moving to Why a mental breakdown? Don't know, it's still up in there. Lose my luscious head of hair. Have a breakdown emotionally and mm. run away to Italy to eat pasta. And and drink, uh, wine. drink wine. We did that loads, by the way, when uh, Matt did live in Italy. So disappointing. Now, hopefully, in five years' time, he earns loads of cash money from YouTube. I retire <laughs> um, and I live in a little hut somewhere in Sicily. That'd be good. That'd be, that'd be good for five years' time. What's the best and the worst thing about each other? You go first. No, it's not my YouTube channel. Okay. <laughs> it's hard. Okay. Best thing, PB is probably one of the kindest people I've ever met. Um, and she's very genuine. So you know what? Like, I've never met someone that's so easy to like. Worst thing is, you know when you mispronounce something, right? This is like the peak of Hebe's humour. Like, it, it, it's, it's really quite bad. It's, it's so like, for example, if you meant to say, I don't know. Chicken and you said. If you meant, if you, for example, right, if I went, if I meant to say chicken and I accidentally come out with chicken, she would absolutely <laughs> crease and she would there crying and I just sat there like, it's not that funny. That's the worst thing about you. My best thing about Matt is that he is very, he has a very positive mindset. So I find that he keeps me uh, like really motivated with things. Um, he's really intelligent and I find that he kind of gives me different things to work on. Like at the moment, obviously we're doing all this and I think that it's definitely, he keeps me sane, he keeps my mind sane. Worst thing is probably like we were saying earlier, he is a wind up merchant most annoying person ever and like on like on purpose best and worst um let's oh. do one more what was your first reaction when you saw each other um i don't know i thought he was 
was really funny. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Every night, I can feel my leg and my arm, even my fingers. He has the best chat of a man I have ever met in my life. And I don't know why. I, I literally don't know how. He doesn't even do anything special. He just has some... He's... Like I said earlier, he's just very intelligent. Like, he knows exactly how to, like, win someone over. And beautiful, of course. Um, I don't know. I got in the car. She picked me up because I didn't die at this point. And it was quite dark. Like, she sat across the road from my parents' house. I came out and got in the car. And I was sat on this side, obviously. And she was sat there and she couldn't turn around. And then I almost had to do this. Just to, you know, make sure that she wasn't a two-act turn and that I could continue with the car journey and not bail out of it. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, I don't know, like we just had a good chat. I we just had a good chat like, right, right on that first night and then from there it kind of... I think that when we first it. met, like we were very, like we were quite intense quite quickly, weren't we? Like more like friends though, like we were really, really friendly really quickly. Like we did a lot of stuff together quite quickly. Um, and we weren't even really like a thing straight away, but, but we were a thing that we went together. But I just, yeah, I think like the one thing I would say is before we got to, like before we became kind of a couple, I think that we became friends and I think that's one thing. I think we get on really well, don't we? We, uh, we do. We get on really well. No! <laughs> Help me! <laughs> <laughs> So thank you to my lovely assistant Matt for doing my Q&A with me. Um, next I am going to talk about, Matt's going to go and I'm going to talk about uh, what the whole purpose of this video is, um, 10 of the best healthy food swaps um, that will help you with just your general life or uh, any of your meals that you're taking to uh, work. Thanks Matt. Goodbye. Okie dokie, so me on my own. Um, so, 10 healthy food swaps. So I have, I do have to write it down just so I don't forget. Um, so I wanted to come on and do this video because I find that uh, a, people's nutrition uh, is so bad. People really struggle with trying to work out exactly what they should be eating. Uh, and they also find it hard cutting out certain foods. Um, so the one thing and the one thing I want to really get across to you guys is I am not here to make you cut out any meals um, or any of your favourite foods because I personally think that that will uh, stunt any progression because I find that if it's me in my situation, I end up wanting to eat more of it. Essentially, all we want to do is if you're if you're trying to lose weight, as I've always said, you want to be in a calorie deficit. But again, some of the foods that I tell you they're not bad foods to start with, um, but they're just better, low -y, lower calorie options, okay? The so first one and one that a lot of people will talk about is rice, okay? So if you're gonna have white rice, that is absolutely fine. I do eat white rice um, and I would never say to someone to cut it out. However, if you, like I said, are trying to go for a slightly better, healthier option, a healthier option is gonna be brown rice, all right, so whole grain rice, um, but a lower calorie option is gonna be cauliflower rice. Um, so the one thing that's really nice about cauliflower rice is you can just buy it kind of pre-made in a little pack um, at obviously most supermarkets. Um, it's really quick to cook and I also find that actually it doesn't really taste that much like cauliflower. It really, really made my 500 calorie meal go down to 250, 300 calorie meal. All right. So again, it's only for if you're really trying to cut down some of them cal calorie uh, intake sizes for your meals. Um, number two, so potatoes, all right? Um, again, absolutely fine if you want to have some white potatoes, um, but if you want something that is gonna be slightly less calories and slightly better for you, I would always opt for sweet potatoes. Same with fries, wedges, all that kind of stuff, and mash. So say as well, if you keep the skin on, um, then it will really help, uh, obviously, keeping your fibre intake up. On your sweet potato. Um, okay, so sweets. A lot of people struggle. So as I said in my video the other day, when I'm eating sweets or I'm eating sweet things, i.e. biscuits, all that kind of stuff, I will really make sure that I get the smaller packs to ensure that I eat less 
uh, or that I don't carry on eating into an overeating stage. I can try and cut sweets out completely. If, you, if you're the type of person that you feel if you cut things out, you are better on track, then that is fine. And some people are like that. Um, I would really recommend any fruit. Obviously, there's loads of fruit you can choose from. They're all really nice and natural sugars. Um, and a lot of people, which I've not personally tried, but a lot of people like freezing their fruit and then eating it. Apparently, it tastes more like sweets and the texture is like sweets. Um, again, smoothies, anything to get that kind of sweet fix in. Crisps. So I am a massive crisps lover. I'm, I don't know if I prefer sweet or savoury. However, crisps, mm -mm -mm, I just love them. Um, so the one thing that I always will substitute for crisps will be either rice cakes. So uh, like salt and vinegar rice cakes, I love them. Um, or popcorn. Again, just similar to when I was saying earlier, it just takes that calories um, takes the calories down. So instead of your 150 calorie bag of crisps, you are having a, I don't know, 50 calorie bag of popcorn. So when it comes to any meat, if you're gonna have chicken, for example, um, I would always recommend having chicken breast. It is the leanest part, and it also is gonna be the lowest in calories because of that. So I know that it's not the tasty, bit of the chicken however chicken thigh chicken drumstick they are all so high in fat in comparison to a chicken breast it doesn't mean you can't have them it just is better for you to have a chicken breast in to sausages and burgers so pork sausages beef burgers one thing that i always always have is chicken sausages or chicken burgers so me and matt always try and buy the heck um, brand. They're really, really good. They're brilliant. They're really tasty. Um, and actually, I wasn't sure how I was going to find chicken burgers and chicken sausages, and they are honestly so, so tasty. Um, ice cream. So ice cream, there's loads of different things you can have. They obviously, for example, brands like Halo Top, you're, ha you're having a lower calorie uh, ice cream. Or if you want something completely different, lots of people will blend banana. Frozen banana, sorry, I should have said. So just freeze some bananas, blend it in, add a little bit of milk, um, and yeah, loads of people like that. I personally haven't tried it, but it, Matt has, and yeah, loads of people think it's really nice. So it's just a suggestion for some of you guys. Say yogurts. It's really, really hard because you see the sign that says low fat yogurts and you think, yeah, perfect, I'm choosing the right one. Wrong. So a lot of low fat yogurts are really, really, really high in sugar. So realistically, although you're not um, having as much fat, you're having it in carbs. And as we've said before, carbs and fats, they pretty much stay on the same line, okay? So it's not really gonna make much of a difference. If you want a slightly lower fat and a slightly healthier yogurt, I would always go for Greek yogurt, which is what I also said in my video yesterday. So I wanna also talk about some other little things. So obviously we all have takeaways, we all go out for dinner, we all do this kind of stuff. So for example, if I was to go to, let's say McDonald's, um, there are so many options that you can have that are just better for you than the option you possibly would have taken two, three months ago, or the option you would have taken last week when now you're on your first week of trying to be healthy. Um, have a salad. The salads are actually really nice. Have a wrap. that You can have grilled chicken wraps. Just make sure that when you're going to these places you are taking and you are choosing the better option. One thing that we have recently found is we love Domino's. Again, I'm not gonna sit here and pretend that I don't and that I don't eat it, because I do. Um, and they have just bought out, well, I don't know how recently, but they've bought out a delight uh, range, so, which is a thinner base um, and it uses reduced fat mozzarella and it really, really brings the calories significantly lower. Um, so that's what we usually have, again, it's not a healthy meal. I'm not telling you that Domino's is healthy. I'm not telling you it's something you should eat every day. But if you're really, really trying to stay under your calorie intake and you're trying to be that little bit better and you're trying to take a better decision with using your initiative, they're the kind of steps you want to be taking, all right? So that is all for today, guys. So um, what am I going to do tonight? I'm just going to chill. It's Easter Sunday tomorrow, like I said. Um, we've had our barbecue, it was really nice. Um, probably have something to eat a little bit later. I had loads of coleslaw like I showed you in the video. Um, but yeah, so Q&A done. 
healthy food swaps done. Um, if there's anything that you guys want me to do, just let me know because I can go through a couple of other things. I can give you a couple more kind of snack options or all that kind of stuff because I know that um, nutrition is a really tough subject for some people. Thanks so much. Um, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.